Hello everyone, Joshua Myers here, and welcome back for another discussion video, and today I'm going to be talking about... I'm going to be talking about that scene, this one particular scene from Howling Resurrection, and just how stupid of a scene it is, so... Let's get right on to it. Hello Detective Banks, I want to play a game. talking about now first of all for, uh, this video was inspired yet again by Dave McRae I will be uh, posting a link to his channel and to his video of, on this topic so you guys can check it out for yourselves uh, and that and today I'm going to be talking about a certain scene that I just find I just find completely stupid in Halloween Resurrection and that is the justification of how is Michael Myers still alive in Resurrection? Because if you remember, first of all, Halloween Resurrection is a supposed to be a direct continuation of Halloween H2O. If you remember, at the end of Halloween H2O, uh, Michael Myers, like, Lord Strode freaking uh, used an axe to chop Michael's head clean off, like clean off his body. That's it. He's done. Game over. The obvious challenge was if you were going to do a sequel to Howling H2O, how would have you explained Michael being back? Considering, you know, he was left without a head at the end of uh, H2O. So, what they decided to do is that, uh, because there was supposedly a lot of confusion and everything like that during those situations at the end of H2O, apparently, in between the time where Lori, you know, was freaking stabbing Michael and everything like that, and he landed on top of a table and everything, she was about to do the final blow, and then L Cool J stopped her and that, and then Michael was uh, put in a body bag and all that stuff. So in between all that, you know, so after uh, Lori, you know, stabbing him and all that stuff, but before, uh... You know, he was putting a body back in that. Apparently, apparently, uh, you know, Michael Myers swapped places with a paramedic. So that means during the whole time, like, you know, when Lori kind of like steals the paramedic van and all that stuff, where Michael's in the body bag and everything like that, and the last few moments, right up until. Lori chops his head clean off. So during that whole time, it was just some paramedic. <laughs> and not Michael Myers. I'm like, okay, well, they also had to describe, like, explain. Well, why didn't the paramedics say something like, Oh, hey, I'm not Michael Myers, duh, 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 duh. Why didn't the paramedics say something? His larynx had been crushed. It's because apparently Michael crushed his lungs, so therefore he was not able to speak. I'm like, okay, well, what about all the other stuff, you know? How come, like, for example, when he got out of the body bag and everything like that, and Lori just like, and then like he went flying out of the window, rolling back on the ground, and that. How come not only did he manage to survive that, but also too, he mo still moves like Michael Myers, you know? Like he gets up like, you know, and everything like that. 
like does a you know rise up like this like why does he do that and no I had two at the end when he's pinned between the you know paramedic fan and a tree branch and Lori's like trying to talk to Michael and he's like she's like Michael why did he respond to being called Michael you know he was like Ooh? And he's just like, Michael, and then he's like, hmm? Why would he respond to Lori calling him Michael if he wasn't Michael? And all that too, yeah, I get it that he, he couldn't speak because his lungs were crushed by Michael, but why didn't, like, surely at the very least Lori knows what Michael looks like, or at least has an idea of what she, he looks like because at the end of the original film, so, why didn't the paramedic took off the mask and was like, why didn't he do that? Why didn't he do that? And it's just like, just such a nonsensical justification for Michael Myers. Now, here's the thing. If they wanted to go this route and have it be a sequel to Halloween H2O, I would have think the, a better justification for why Michael Myers is alive is that it's not Michael Myers. It's a copycat. It's a copycat Michael Myers who is equally obsessed with Laurie Strode and tries to, you know, and then the rest of the movie is just this copycat. Now, I know that would have pissed off some fans and all that, some fanboys and fangirls, but... That's the only way I could see this whole idea working out towards at least a sensical idea and a sensical direction to take after how we need to do Because again, at this at, the, at that point, Michael Myers is dead. He's dead. Like I, there's not a single point in Resurrection, and I've never bought that excuse. I've never bought that excuse. If you're somebody who's okay with that excuse, you want more power to you. But for me, I've never been able to buy that into, like, I've never been able to buy into that excuse. You know? Like, I guess that's it for this, um, uh, I guess that's it for this discussion video. Uh, please tell me in the comments below, do you agree with me? You know, like, what's your thoughts on this whole situation? Do you think it's nonsensical, or do you think it's this? was a smart way of explaining how Michael Myers survived, you know, and all that stuff. Tell me in the comments what you guys think. Also, too, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and... Trick or treat, motherfucker!